Hi there, my name is Silas Q and welcome to my channel. So today's video is really exciting for me because we are going to be talking about this. This is a high frequency wand. Now this can be used for many different things. This could be used to help stimulate follicles. So for hair growth, it could also be used to zap away and kill acne off of your face. So basically it kills the bacteria that causes the acne. So it kills the acne. Now this wand here, I actually got off of Amazon and this is the best one I found that has great reviews, great price. So I decided to just order it and try it at home. Now this is going to be a first impression and demo and full review because I'm going to try it for a week. Hey guys, so complete spoiler alert, I hope you still keep watching this video, but I ended up loving the high frequency wand so much, I bought you guys one as well as you can see here in the giveaway picture, and I will be including a bunch of my other skincare favorites as well in the giveaway, so please check the description box to enter the giveaway if you're interested, but yeah, um, <laughs> spoiler, I'm obsessed with this thing, but keep watching so you can see the results I got. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. I love you guys so, so much. Now this specific one, this exact brand, I read the reviews and a lot of people saw results in four days, some three days. So I'm really excited to try this one out because of the reviews. Also, I've never tried a high frequency wand by myself at home before. So this is going to be my very first time. I have gotten it used on my face by estheticians when I would get facials. So I do know that it works amazing they probably have like a way more expensive one but it does the same thing more or less and that's the point i'm trying to do here basically if you're trying to save money and you want to be able to take care of your skin at home and you know do these things for yourself without having to break bank going to see an esthetician all the time that is why i'm doing this to see how it works at home now i still need to see an esthetician regardless i they're lifesavers because I'm not popping my own pimples and scar on my face, so there's some things that you will need to see a esthetician for. As you can see here, it comes with different wands, and these wands do different things. I mainly care about these two, because these are specifically designed to fight the acne and kill the bacteria off your face. So it says here, the high frequency facial is a skincare treatment used by professionals to help treat and prevent stubborn acne. Shrink and large pores, reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, decongest puffy eyes, fade dark eye circles, rejuvenate the condition of the scalp, and nourish hair follicles for healthier hair. It does a lot of different things, basically. So for this tool, it's actually recommended that you try using some type of ceramide product on your face while you basically zap things away. So you put the product on first, and then you use the tool on the skin areas that you have concerns about. Here, I'm just going to use some Drunk Elephant Ceramides. So let me show you guys what came in the box, just in case you guys want to order the same thing. Like I said, it comes with three different wands. They're really nice. They give you a one-year warranty, and it has, like, instructions of how to use everything. These products are designed to thin out the skin and reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. However, they can be extremely dry and it should not be used in combination with high frequency treatment. Hear that guys, do not use AHA, glycolic acids, or other harsh products with this system. So, keep that in mind. Definitely read all the instructions if you're going to try this. And you put the different wand heads in there. And it comes with this little guide basically telling you which wand you should use. Suggest that you start it at zero, but I don't see a zero, so I'm confused. I'm going to put it to one and I'm going to test it on my hand for the heck of it. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, do you guys see it gl glow up red? What the hell? Since when do I get acne on my neck? What is that? So you're not supposed to leave it like hanging on the skin for more than 10 seconds. It does not sting usually when I go to the esthetician. I feel it sting a little, so they definitely have it up higher than this. But since I'm starting off with not an esthetician, I might as well be extra careful. Just to be safe, I'm gonna leave it at that. You can do it longer, actually, and you could do it 
once a day you should not do it more than once a day you can read up about it I said i'm gonna leave it only on the pimple for like no more than 10 seconds so warning for you guys do not get carried away and like do it too often or leave it on one acne thinking like oh i'm gonna burn the crap out of the acne i'm gonna kill that acne don't do that do not leave it on one area for more than 10 seconds and do don't like press down too hard good morning you guys so this is how my face looks exactly after one use of the facial wand i don't know if you guys notice a difference yet but it's only after one use we'll see how everything looks after I'm going to put it on one again and remember guys always make sure you fully take it off once you're like removing the wand to like put another one or whatever so the trick is so you don't get shocked if you do raise it is to hold this and then apply it to your face and it doesn't give a shocking feeling but honestly without even doing that I don't get a shocking feeling so the actual instruction actually says to do this like to do it in Z's or something going across your face that's the instructions that came with this wand, but just glide it all over everywhere basically. That's what I'm doing because I break out everywhere. Last night I was just getting used to it, but now I'm confident. I'm just passing it over, make sure I don't miss anything. Hey guys, so this is how my face looks after the last treatment and I already noticed a difference. The pimple that was here on my lip is gone these pimples are going down i don't know if you guys notice but the whiteheads for the most part are getting killed away and it's going down so it's getting flatter this is just how my face looks so yesterday i totally noticed that i used the wrong wand so i'm literally gonna put the rest away and separate it and only keep this one out which is the one for acne because that's all I care about, killing the acne more than like fine lines and wrinkles or anything like that. Today I'm going to use it a little more because I never use it up to 5 minutes so I'm definitely going to take advantage of that. First I'm going to glide it over and then I'm going to zap it. Hey guys, it's the day after. This is how my face is doing. I don't know. I genuinely cannot tell the difference now today. I am not gonna lie to you guys, I am genuinely so frustrated with my face right now, I, I don't even know what's going on. I stopped drinking alcohol, I don't consume dairy, I don't consume refined sugars, I'm just gonna have to take a, um, a allergy test and find out what the hell is going on with my face. I feel so annoyed that I literally want to just rip my face off and plaster a new one on and just start over from fresh like that. The acne around my mouth is starting to disappear. So some people are saying that when you hold it further away from the face, it actually does its job better. But then some people say glide it on your face like this. So I literally don't know. So I'm just going to do both. If I'm remembering correctly, my esthetician does both. Glides it on my face and then holds it away a little and zaps the pimples. Hey guys, so one minute I think it's working and then the next minute I don't. It's so weird because these just keep coming back. Like I'll wash it and it'll come out but I guess it's still a lot of guck in there. I raised it up to two yesterday. Or was it the day before? I don't remember. I'm really careful around the breakout areas. I don't mush it. I don't drag on it too hard. I do notice that two pimples here have dried up hey guys so it's the next morning this is how my face looks i feel like these are just refusing to go away like it looks like it's getting better and then it just still coming out yes I'm wearing the same shirt as yesterday because it's cold and i was too lazy to change it and it's clean so yeah I think it's getting better now. I'm always flip-flopping and going back on what I say because one minute it's not and then the next minute it is. 
the cyst acne is starting to go away a little i still have some huge bumps but it's starting to get a little better hey guys so this is how my face looks after using the high frequency wand for a week now as you can see well in my opinion i think that we have a great improvement in my skin my forehead the forehead acne has disappeared and the acne that i had here has been zapped away by the high frequency wand and my chin acne is still really really visible but as you can see it has shrunk down in size significantly in a week which is huge for me it usually takes longer especially since i didn't use any other treatment i only used the wand to see how well it does with my skin and this side of my face although it's red as you can see the active acne has been sapped away so basically i don't have a lot of whiteheads poking out there's still some troubled ones here as you can see that no matter how much i zap it it basically zaps the first layer but then it doesn't kill what's underneath so what's underneath keeps pushing to the surface and then every time it comes to the surface it would zap that part kill that part until it's finally gone which it did for these over here these are completely flat and it's just healing and there's a mark right here because there was a pimple here and that's been zapped away fairly quickly in like two days that was gone after using the wand so would i recommend getting this facial wand if you have active acne a lot of active acne highly highly yes because you never know as i said before for some people they saw results in three to four days for me honestly i needed like a full week to see results and these are my results and honestly seeing results in a week is not a bad thing at all when you face acne because whew, sometimes you waste your money on so many things and you don't even see results so for the fact that i'm seeing such quick results in a week that's amazing for me if you guys are interested in giving it a try i left a link in my description box so you could check it out if you want but yeah honestly I spent like 40 bucks on it and it's 40 bucks well spent if you guys want to see how this keeps doing with my face like week by week you can definitely follow me at silas q on instagram so you can see my update there you can dm me ask me questions about things that you want to see as well because on my ig stories it's just so much easier to pick it up and like film me using it or film like a quick update for you guys so yeah if you're interested in anything like that you should definitely follow me because i have behind the scenes for everything and basically whatever i film on my youtube i definitely keep it up and i keep it up on instagram so you can see longer period of results but i didn't feel the need to film this video for like a month using this because i already saw results in a week so i wanted to get that out to you guys asap to let you know so guys this is the end of the video thank you thank you so so much for watching if you enjoyed watching please give it a thumbs up and please hit that subscribe button so you can see whenever I upload new videos. Hit that bell so you can get notified when I have a new video for you guys. Um, that's about it. I love you guys so, so much. Drop me a comment. Tell me what you guys are up to. Anyhow, love you guys. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. By the way, I want to mention that I believe, I highly, highly believe, just like how the other pimples have been zapped away by the high frequency one, I highly believe this one will eventually go away. As you can see, it's getting smaller. Before, it was way more obnoxiously huge and in your face. And little by little, it is shrinking. So, it's definitely working.